Hey Z Stars, it's your girl Zara, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me once again. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Today I'm giving you all more advice on how you can glow up. And this time we're focusing specifically on slaying your 20s. Now I do have another glow up video, which you all can check out right here. It's really on and pop in. Be sure to watch that one before you watch this one. You know, just open it in another tab. And you all can also see how I've glowed up over the years <laughs> via my Instagram, which I'm going to link, which is actually already linked right here. And my Twitter, you guys can see some pictures on the screen right now so be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter but anyway let's get right into this video I don't want to be long-winded like I normally am <laughs> but before we do please be sure to comment down below let me know what you like about this video let me know how you intend to glow up be sure to give this video a big thumbs up let YouTube know that you enjoy this content so I can make more for you guys let's try and get this video to like at least 2,000 likes be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones and last but never ever least be sure to subscribe to my channel so you know every time I post a new video it's totally free and we'll get to connect with each other more on here so be sure to subscribe okie dokie y'all so let's get right into this video Everybody, number one is invest in your skin now this one is extremely important to me and I learned my lesson very hard way because skin responds to certain environments so it's really important to know how your skin works from one environment to the next now your skin may be super popping in one environment and it may suffer in another but a great regimen will prevent any kind of negative reaction from environment to environment be sure to invest in facials body scrubs peels massages and any other treatments that will improve the quality of your health and your skin this is super Super duper important. Skin is something you don't want to just tackle with DIYs. You need to make sure that you're actually investing in an esthetician or a dermatologist. And if you can't afford those things, at least do the research so you're using products that are not going to cause any sensitivity or poor reactions. Now, a lot of people swear by putting lemon on their skin, but this is something I recommend against completely. It can be extremely harsh and extremely damaging in the long run. Something like aloe vera, which is natural, is a lot more gentle. It's a lot healthier to actually put on the skin and on the hair. It's also extremely important to be very gentle with your skin. Avoid handling it roughly. Avoid like really harsh scrub. Avoid really strong at home peels. These are things that should be left to a trained professional. They won't even use harsh scrubs. They're more likely to use chemical exfoliants. And we can talk about all that stuff in another video. <laughs> but you guys, it's super important to invest in really quality skincare products. And quality skincare does not have to be super expensive. Personally, I use Drunk Elephant pretty much exclusively I use like their entire line. They sent me their products and I'll do a really extensive review on that very soon. It's been working wonders for me, especially because my skin did react very negatively to the Nigerian environment where it was super flawless back in the States. Over time, the pollution in this environment actually took a serious toll on my skin and my body. So I use Drunk Elephant. Like I said, guys, I'm going to make a huge review, but digression aside, skincare doesn't have to be as expensive as that. You can use products like The Ordinary. Even Neutrogena has some great, really inexpensive products. It's all about doing research and finding out what works for you. To round this up though, it's super duper important to invest in your skin again. I can't stress that enough. Be gentle with your skin. Make sure that you're taking care of your skin and your body. If you do these things, your body and your skin will take care of you and you'll be super popping and glowing. So number two, I already touched on this in the first point a little bit, but invest in your body. Health is wealth, you all. You are stuck with this body for the rest of your life. So whether it's food, training, or massage, massages, you need to make sure that you're taking exceptional care of it. If you take care of your body, again, it will take really fantastic care of you. And taking care of yourself actually shows very well on the outside. Aside from that, internally, your body is going to be working in tip-top shape if you're ensuring that you're feeding it properly, that you're training it, that you're pampering it, etc, etc, etc. Now, this is going to be a very unpopular opinion, but I'm going to say it and you guys, I said what I said. So, ultimately, we live in a world where people are first judged by the way that they look. People are going to see you before they hear what comes out of your mouth. Personally, I don't have a problem with that. I'm going to always put my best foot forward, so it's extremely important to make sure that what you're presenting to somebody is a visage, a body that is really well taken care of, really needs, really well kept. Someone that sees an individual taking care of himself, herself, themselves, is more likely, more inclined to listen to what that person has to say. And I've actually experienced that a lot in life because of the 
the way I look, people automatically want to hear what it is that I have to say. Now, this is fine by me because like I said, I use that to get my foot in the door to actually show people that there's much more to me than how I look. To show people that there's a lot in here. It's not just all of this. If you take care of yourself, if you look good, you don't need to apologize because at the end of the day, I mean, it's your body, it's your temple. You're supposed to take care of it. You're going to be with it for the rest of your life. I know I've said this a million times at this point, it's getting redundant, but it's just the truth. You don't need to apologize for looking good. And looking good ultimately should be a point of pride. Number three, tell yourself that you are amazing. Now, I know that this was in the last video, but it's so important and that's why I'm repeating it. You need to tell yourself every day that you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are intelligent, not just in your mind, but also out loud. Anything that you think, anything that you speak, anything you believe that you are, you will surely become as long as you affirm it consistently. Again, not just in your mind, but out loud. If you desire to be really popping, tell yourself every day, I am really popping. If you desire to have long hair, tell yourself every day, my hair is really long, luscious, and beautiful. If you desire to have clear skin, tell yourself every day, my skin is flawless, my skin is perfect, my skin is without blemish or imperfection. It's so important to affirm positive things daily and consistently. There's so much power in speaking, and I know that sounds like super new age, guys, but I'm not even new age. Like, this is literally, at least as far as I'm concerned, a spiritual principle. Now, I am Christian, so this is something that's very easy for me to just, like, latch onto and believe. There's life and death in the power of the tongue, right? I also believe that we've been given that authority, period. So whatever you believe, regardless of what you believe, if you speak it, it will be. If you actually, like, believe that, affirm it. And as a young Black girl, I read a lot of books, right? There are so many white people, rich white people that actually really believe in affirmation and saying positive things. And that is actually reflected in their income bracket. It's reflected in the way they conduct themselves and all of the opportunities they're afforded. So why aren't we doing it for ourselves? Long story short, y'all, words are powerful. The mind is powerful. If we dwell on positive things, as well as speaking those same positive things, we will surely enjoy those things. We will surely be those things. Maintain bomb hygiene. Now this one is exceptionally important, you guys. Keep your body very clean, especially your genitalia and other sensitive areas. Make sure that you're brushing your teeth regularly and using mouthwash. Make sure that you're carrying Dio, baby wipes, and other things that will keep you clean throughout the day. Now this is extremely important because people are more likely to remember a time when you were not smelling your best than any time you were smelling like the breath of an angel. Now I'm super big on maintaining bomb hygiene, especially for young women. So if you're a girl out there and you're watching me, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. I know that a lot of guys watch me too, so guys, this goes for you as well. And anybody who is gender neutral, you too, <laughs> please be sure to take care of your hygiene. Some people will actually elect to work with you simply because of how neat you are. That doesn't mean like washing your hair every day or doing the most. It just means being clean, being hygienic, maintaining bomb hygiene. Now this person who said you should wash your hair every day, he was a liar. But you should definitely bathe every day. And if you're in environments like this, like Nigeria, it's probably advisable to bathe even up to twice a day, simply because it's so hot. You're sweating, the air is thick with a lot of debris, dust, pollution, etc., etc., etc. So maintaining bottom hygiene does not have to be difficult, but it is something that you have to be a bit vigilant about. Number five, invest in quality sense. <laughs> I'm sure it's about to be a very unpopular opinion. Um, um, but $300 cents are a prime investment, as far as I'm concerned. Now, all of my most expensive cents stay on my clothing for months. They literally engulf me and engulf everyone around me, and people remember them very, very well. They're like, wow, you smell like you fell from heaven. And that's exactly the kind of effect that I'm trying to have. Now, I understand that there are those of you who may not be able to afford those types of scents, and it's not like I'd be buying them like I'm buying bottled water. Of course not. <laughs> I basically invest in them when I have the money, and maybe I'll set aside a bit of money to buy perfume just because that's something that's very important to me. Now, you can still smell really amazing with inexpensive scents. And if you cannot afford to buy expensive scents, please, please, please invest in inexpensive scents. Those ones are always readily available. You you can carry them in your purse and refresh your scent a bit. So it's really, really fantastic to have those kinds of scents as well. And I'm not trying to tell you to go and buy expensive scents. However, however, however,
whatsoever. However, I'm a firm believer in spoiling oneself in that way. And of course, it makes people feel good every once in a while to just have a little bit of fun and do things like that. So y'all, no matter what scent you're using, make sure that it's one that you can actually relate to, make sure it's one that appeals to you, and make sure that it's quality. Now, expense does not always equate to quality. There are some expensive scents that are exorbitant for no reason, they don't last, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> now, if anything, I would advise investing in a few Tom Ford scents, maybe not, you know, like there are a few that I really prefer, and then probably some higher end perfume oils. Those tend to last. And if you do some research, you'll also be able to look into what types of scents that are inexpensive last very, very long. So I'm not gonna get into scents this video because it's not a perfume channel, you guys. But if you do want me to talk more about my own scents, please let me know. Again, I feel it's very important to invest in quality scents, whether they're expensive or inexpensive. Number six, set short-term and long-term goals. Now, guys, it's super important to set short-term and long-term goals. I myself actually have a list of short-term and long-term goals. These things do not have to be set in stone. They can certainly be mutable because, I mean, as you're accomplishing things and discovering yourself when you're in your 20s, things are definitely going to change. But you should be actively working towards their achievement, their completion. That's super important. It'll help you discover yourself. It'll help you actually make gains, so to speak. It'll help you move forward in life. As you're journeying towards the completion of these short-term goals especially, a lot of things will become clear to you about yourself. This will help you to better shape your future and remove that directionless feeling. Now, of course, as someone who is still in her 20s, I am very, 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 very familiar with that feeling. But because I've been consistently setting short-term and long-term goals for myself, I've been able to actually accomplish a lot. And I'm working towards accomplishing so much more. Number seven, step outside of yourself. For example, well, if you're naturally shy, force yourself to do things that are outside of your comfort zone. Try to talk to people in an event or a party. Go up to people, interact, you know? If you're naturally outgoing, try to stay by yourself for like a week, you know? Just like stick to yourself, read books, talk to yourself, write in a journal, etc, etc. It's really important to try these things, especially as a young person, so that you can be more adaptable, so that you can do more things and be more independent. It's also super important because doing these things will teach you more about life and about who you are. Now guys, I'm not saying that you should not be yourself. I'm just letting you know that you need to try different things. It's super duper important. You need to step outside of yourself. You need to learn to be fluid and adaptable. That's actually one of the keys to being powerful. No matter what your nature is, if you're able to adapt to any situation, you will be unstoppable. Part of growing and glowing is being able to shine in any situation or any environment. And let me tell you, your girl is shining. And you can too. Oh my gosh, y'all. Number eight is like super important to me and that is to drop trash friends. I actually low-key barely have any friends because there are a lot of people that want to be friends with me for reasons that are not necessarily sincere or authentic. And terrible friends are destiny killers. They will drag you down until you don't even know yourself. And most times the damage will be so subtle that you don't even realize that you're a different person until you're only a shadow of your former self. It's extremely dangerous to maintain friendships with wicked and terrible friends. Keep away from people who put you down and tell you, oh, I'm only kidding, and people who will tell you what's wrong with you, but they will never encourage you. Ultimately, you can discern the good from the bad by how they make you feel, and ultimately, bad friends will make you feel bad. There are also people that will disrespect you and make you feel like you are less than who you are so they can continue to use you and manipulate you. Those kinds of friends are horrible. Um, <laughs> some like church some factions in Nigeria call them unfriendly friends. So y'all stay far away from unfriendly friends or frenemies. My American people, I'm sure you know what a frenemy is. But yeah, stay very far away from them. They will destroy your life and your future. Number nine. <laughs> Number nine is also very important to me because I feel like a lot of people do this to me. And it is to stop comparing yourself with others. Mind your business. 
each person's trajectory is extremely different. You cannot compare your life to somebody else's life. Focus on your own growth. You fail when you compare yourself to other people. If you focus on you and only you, you will find that you'll forge your own unique path, something that nobody else can do. And eventually you'll see that you've surpassed your peers and your competitors because you've put all your energy into focusing on yourself instead of trying to be someone else. I can't tell you how many times I've seen my style either like blatantly copied by some of my peers or mimicked because it's being admired. Now there's a big difference between flattering mimicry and straight out, oh, let me try and do what Zara's doing, maybe that'll make me pop. Now those people that will maybe do the things you do because they admire you are showing you that you're doing something very unique, that what you're doing is special, that you're forging that unique path for yourself. But again, your competitors will still show you that what you're doing is very unique by copying you because they see how you're shining and think that maybe they can have a little bit of what you have if they try to do things the way that you do them. But know that you are you and that is your power. Nobody can ever be you. Nobody can ever be a better version of you. Nobody can ever do the things you do the way that you do them, especially if you decide to do them the way that you know how to do them, the way that you express, the way that you are. So I know I'm like preaching, I know I'm getting on my soapbox, let me hop up. But before I do, I just want to let you know that if you intend to watch somebody else, watch it so that you can learn from their successes and their mistakes, not so that you can compare yourself to them. Now, personally, I'm not the type to be making stupid mistakes and then be having to learn from those stupid mistakes. Now, I've made mistakes. I'm not perfect, obviously. I'm a young girl, or rather a young woman, so I'm obviously not perfect. But, like, I'm not trying to be making some dumb mistakes when I can literally ask people who have a lot more sense and experience than I do and avoid making X mistake. Nah, not fun. Now, personally, I talk to my parents a lot, especially my mom, and I seek their advice and opinion on a number of things. If I'm not telling them something, it's not because I want to hide from them, it's because I'm respecting the privacy of another party involved. Now, that's another thing to be very cognizant of. As you're discussing things with people, be sure that you're respecting the privacy of other parties and focusing on your own angle primarily. Now, it is important sometimes to relay the behavior of another so that you can get good feedback because I mean, some things can be pretty nebulous. But at the same time, respect other people's privacy. Don't be a gossip. Now, anyway, digression aside, I really feel that it's extremely important to learn from people that are older, that are more successful, that are probably smarter than you. At the same time, know that age is a number in a lot of cases. Now, granted, my parents give exceptional advice and they've never tried to steer me wrong, obviously. They love me and they care about my well-being. But I've had plenty of interactions with people that are almost twice my age and it's very evident that I'm much more intelligent than them. But why is that? It's probably because of the sound advice and the life guidance that I've sought from people who are actually mentally mature. So learn the difference. It's not everyone that is older than you that has sense, but chances are your parents are not going to steer you wrong. If you don't have parents in your life that are you know, able to be there for you in that way, it does not hurt to maybe seek advice from an instructor, a mentor, or another figure in your life that is experienced that is responsible, that is well respected. If you all don't have that figure, you can actually email me info at epicsart.com. It's in the description box down below. I'm also going to put it up on the screen. If you need a bit of life advice, now I'm still very young, let's be real, but I've seen quite a bit of life. I've interacted with a lot of people, a lot of different types of people, and I've had fairly unique life experiences. So I'm very open to lending a little bit of knowledge, the little knowledge that I have to you all because I consider you to be my family. You're very important to me. Your life is very important to me. I'd like to do video responses occasionally so we can talk about more pressing matters on this channel. If you're comfortable with that, please indicate in the email. And of course, everyone will remain very anonymous. Feel free also to include pictures and videos if it fits your story. Again, everything will be very anonymous and I'll be sure to blur out any faces. So y'all, make sure you also comment down below. Let me know if you like that idea. Share this video with your friends and your loved ones. <laughs> 
Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, of course, so YouTube knows that you enjoy this type of content. And last but never ever least, subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on. Thus ends our glow up video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful. Um, I know what it's like to be 20 something and struggling, especially early 20s. I really didn't start to pop until I was like 21. <laughs> that was when I knew I was actually a little bit cute, guys. So hope is not lost, don't worry. And you're not alone in navigating this very sensitive time and you can do it with a lot of success. We're all here, so please, again, comment. Let's talk to each other. Let's share our thoughts and our feelings. Give glow up tips. I want this to be a really healthy and happy community. So anyway, y'all, I'm getting a bit long-winded again, but I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.